Okay, this is a little bit better. Uh, this is the uh, wearable computer I made for um, uh, Cold Horizon. Um, sorry about the location, it's the only place I could find with better light. Okay, to start off in here we have a pair of 6 volt lead acid batteries um, in parallel. Um, I think they give out a total of about 4.5 uh, to 5 amps of power, so they should last about 4 hours. Um, voltmeter to tell me what sort of power we were getting. There's a voltage regulator on the side because the Pi uh, likes about 5 volts and that brings it down a little bit. Uh, and then the Raspberry Pi itself is inside. Uh, probably not the best angle, but um, and then we've got this thing on the front, which is actually a, a video adapter for the headset. Um, and the whole thing is controlled by this, which straps onto your arm. In fact, you can actually take that out of there, which makes it a lot easier to use. Okay. Okay, so there's my keyboard and mouse, and here is the headset. So if we actually have a look in here, we should be able to see is a Windows display. Oh, <laughs> yes, of course, it's trying to get onto the network, I'm not having much luck. So let me just uh, let me just change that. There we go. There's the application I wrote. So, what this was useful was to find out information about various different players. So if I press, what is that? G, I think. There we go, we get information about a random player. Uh, Maxim Fuzel. And, uh, yeah, and that allowed you to add information, hack into the player's account, all sorts of cool stuff whilst we were actually playing. Um, and the whole thing was mounted nicely on a belt, sat on your waist, uh, and people were often saying how freaked out they were by the fact I was talking to them and then all of a sudden staring off into space as I was reading some bit of information. Anyway, hope you like that.